Greetings to all of you. My name is Mrs. Carol Ramsey, and I am the president of Excellence Through Education. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our 2022 Merit Award Scholarship Program. Since 1977, Excellence Through Education has awarded merit awards to deserving elementary and middle school students who demonstrate high academic achievement as well as good citizenship characteristics. We also have awarded scholarships and book awards to high school students of African American descent who demonstrate high academic achievement and plan to attend a college, university, or post-secondary institution of higher learning. It has always been our hope as present and former educators and support staff of the Hamilton Township School District that we could play some small part to promote the desire to excel academically in the youth we serve. We continue to experience the effects of COVID-19, which is why this year's award program could not be held in person again. This in no way affects the excitement we feel about this year's Merit Award, Scholarship, and Book Award recipients. Their credentials are noteworthy and further emphasize just how strong and determined they are to pursue academic excellence, no matter the odds. Our keynote speaker this year is Reverend Crystal James. Reverend James currently serves as the pastor of Union African Methodist Episcopal Church in Allentown, New Jersey. She retired at the rank of Sergeant from the Mercer County Con Correction Center after completing 20 years of service. In addition to serving as a pastor, Reverend James is employed as a fifth grade teacher at Greenwood Elementary School here in the Hamilton Township School District. Reverend James graduated from Mercer County Community College with an associate's degree in criminal justice, Grand Canyon University with a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education, and Drew University Theological School with a Master of Divinity degree. Reverend James truly embodies the principle of excellence through education. Reverend James is married to Robert James and together they have three children. Reverend James has a big heart and loves to devote her time and energy to those in need. One of her favorite quotes is an African proverb, until the lions tell their tale, the story will always glorify the hunter. I present to you our guest speaker, Reverend Crystal James. I'm going to read to you a story called The Rabbit Listen. Now, if you are in middle school or beyond, before you say to yourself that listening to someone read a book is only for younger kids, I would invite you to reevaluate why you believe that and encourage you to open your minds and hearts to receive the message from this short story. I think the story's theme is relevant to us all, young, seasoned, and in between. So our story today is called The Rabbit Listened, and it is by Corey Dorfield. The Rabbit Listened. One day, Taylor decided to build something. Something new, something special. Something Amazing. Taylor was so proud. But then, out of nowhere, things came crashing down. The chicken was the first to notice. What a shame. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry this happened. Let's talk, talk, talk about it. But Taylor didn't feel like talking, so the chicken left. Next came the bear. 
how horrible. I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting. So the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Trump da da, I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Teller didn't feel like remembering. So the elephant left. One by one, they came. The hyena, hee hee, let's laugh about it. The ostrich, go, let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo, tss, tss, what a mess. Let's throw it all away. And the snake, shh, let's go knock down someone else's. But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually they all left. Until Taylor was all alone. And the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit. But it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. Together, they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. And that is the end of our story. As we are nearing the end of another school year, just like Taylor from our story, some of you are on a journey of starting something new, something special and something amazing. It doesn't matter if you are still in elementary school or your last year of high school, your achievements thus far are something to be proud of. For many, this was your first full year back in school after not having been in a physical classroom since March of 2019. And those that went back last year, I know the classroom environment was not the same. So even if you feel as though this year was a little tough, you should all be very proud because you made it. And I hope you are excited and motivated. And just like Taylor, you are all standing tall and proud. But I want to remind you that there will be times when you will face adversity. There will be times when things come crashing down. And when that happens, I want you to remember there is always someone who will listen. I want to remind you that when the work gets too hard, there is someone who will listen. I want to remind you that when your friends aren't acting like your friends, there is someone who will listen. I want to remind you that when you feel overwhelmed, there is someone who will listen. There was someone who will listen to the good and the bad. There was someone who will listen when you talk, when you shout, and when you cry. Even when you don't say a word, there was someone who will sit with you in silence. So I say to you all, when your dreams or aspirations or life in general come crashing down in your mind, you may wonder how you're going to rebuild. In your mind, you may be thinking that you are the only one with that problem or situation. 
But I need you to realize that there is nothing that you are going through or will go through that someone else hasn't already experienced. So when you have a Taylor moment and you didn't do well on a test, or if you have a Taylor moment and you failed a class or you didn't get accepted into that club on campus, when you have a Taylor moment and you get into trouble or you make a not so wise decision, regardless, there is someone who will listen and will be with you as you rebuild. So I hope as I read this book and I hope as I have been talking that you have been thinking about or know that someone who will listen. Peace and blessings. Thank you, Reverend James, for your wonderful words of inspiration. The students at Greenwood Elementary School are blessed to have you as their teacher. I would now like to recognize the scholarship and book award winners. The recipient of the $1,000 George E. Wilson Scholarship is Kahinde Adego. Kahinde attends Hamilton High School West and has been accepted to the University of Pennsylvania's College of Arts and Sciences. The recipient of the $1,000 Gary Dean Gray Scholarship is Taiwo Adego. Taiwo is Kinde's twin and has also been accepted to the University of Pennsylvania's College of Arts and Sciences. This is the second year in a row that our scholarship winners have been twins. The $500 Book Award winner is Nora Ann Jen Louis. Nora attends Hamilton High School West and will be attending Ryder University. We wish our scholarship winners and book award winner continued success as they pursue their academic and career goals. I would like to thank everyone who was involved in making this year's award program possible. Your hard work is greatly appreciated. Thank you for viewing the 2022 Excellence Through Education Awards Program. For the students who are watching this program with great anticipation of their summer vacation, I would like to leave you with a quote from former President Barack Obama. Reading is the gateway skill that makes all other learning possible. Be sure to take some time this summer to make reading an integral part of your daily routine. We look forward to seeing you in person next year.